welcome to my studio this is how i record my videos and i hope that they've been helpful to you as we continue with this journey of learning how to drive uh, motor vehicles okay so karibuni sana uh, today we're going to look at a very interesting topic especially for guys driving cars for the first time you've just qualified or you're learning how to uh, drive so let's get on with this uh, people assume automatic cars are one of the easiest cars to drive yes it's true it's a very easy car to drive but at the same time uh, it has a lot of uh, risks it is important for you to know the basics of how uh, a car works so it's very important before you sit on the driver's seat to start and drive uh, an automatic car uh, just make sure that you understand clearly how it works uh, driving a car is it's uh, a skill that someone learns over time through experience but initially in the be beginning stages there are some of those things that will confuse somebody uh, today i'm going to talk to you specifically about these five things they might seem to be very simple but for someone who is uh, learning how to drive it could be a very big challenge to them so let's get into these things without uh, uh, much further ado the car was running very well you stopped the car switched off the engine and went to do your own things and you came back but when you try to start the car it doesn't start that is one scenario number two you're in a traffic jam and vehicles have stopped moving and you decided let me switch off the car when the vehicles start to move start to move i will uh, turn on the car and i'll proceed to uh, to drive but when you now come back to your car and you try to start it the car is not starting and the car was perfectly fine so what causes this uh, the, the key is turning and all the lights are coming on the on the dashboard but the, the engine is not starting so why is this why is this happening so basically an automatic car will only start when the gear is at two positions that is at parking and at neutral so if you leave your car at drive gear you switch it off when it's on the drive gear or reverse gear and you come back to the car and try to start the car the car will not start so this is a safety measure that prevents the car assuming you left the car on drive you might come and start the car and then the car will start moving immediately so it's a safety measure for every automatic car that it will never start unless it's at parking position or neutral position. Point number two. So you've switched off the car and while you're leaving the car, you hold on to the steering wheel and you hear a click sound, click sound but you leave the car and and, and 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 the next time you come to start the car you insert the you insert the key to the ignition uh, key and then when you try starting the car the key is not moving no matter how much you're trying to force the key it is not moving from the off position to the on position so that you can be able to start the car so there's something which is called a steering lock to remove the steering lock what you have to do is as you're turning the key you have to keep uh, turning the steering wheel using some little force and that will release the steering lock and the car will start so that is the second thing that will re prevent the car from starting since the key is not moving so if you're faced with such a situation when the key is not moving no matter how hard you try and please do not force it because you might end up breaking the key 
and leaving a part of it inside the ignition and that will cause more problems. So if you feel the key is not moving, never use force. But most likely is that the steering lock is on and to remove the steering lock, as you're trying to start the car, keep uh, twisting the steering wheel and you'll hear the key wheel will move and the car will start. So that is point number two. Uh, point number three, and this is very crucial, is changing gears after you have done a maneuver. Let's say like you're reversing the car. So after you've reversed the car, it is very likely, and I've seen it happen, you will not remember to remove the car from reverse. The moment you stop after you've finished the reversing maneuver, Please always look at the position of the gear. So when you finish your reversing, please remember to always check and return the gear either to drive or to neutral or to parking if you're parking the vehicle. So it's very important and that is a mistake that happens uh, with many new drivers forgetting to check or forgetting to remove the car from the reverse gear to any other gear. Let's say drive if you're going forwards again or if you are parking the car, uh, shift the gear from the reverse uh, to the parking mode. So that is uh, very common and it affects most uh, new drivers. The other thing which is really, really important, every time you get inside an automatic car, always make sure that you step on the brake. The moment you are ready to move, your handbrake, you'll disengage your handbrake and engage the gear. After that, you'll slowly release your brake and accelerate so that the vehicle can start to move. But always form a habit of starting the car by first pressing the brake pedal. And actually, in some cars, they will not start unless you've pressed the brake pedal. But it's always very important in any car, just make sure that when you're starting the car and before you begin to move, you've pressed uh, the brake pedal. It's very easy for you to forget to do that so that when you release the handbrake and probably the car was in drive, it will start to move when you're not prepared and it may uh, create a situation whereby you might hit the car, uh, other cars near you or you may cause damage to the vehicle if probably it hit, it hit a wall. So it's very important for you to press the brakes whenever you get into the car and you're preparing to drive. The fifth point and very, very important is the handbrake. And I've seen this happen with most new drivers and even with some slightly experienced drivers and this happens you've already prepared yourself and everything and you had pressed your brake and now you're starting to move you've engaged the gear you've put on your safety belt and everything and you've started to move the car but you feel the car is not moving or it's dragging itself why is it dragging itself just check that you have released the handbrake other is the car will try to move, but it will be pulling. In most cars nowadays, they are front wheel cars. But when you put on the handbrake, the handbrake only applies at your rear wheels. So what the car will be doing, it will be pulling the, the behind wheels, which will not be moving because the handbrake is on. So when you, you are in such a situation, just remember, that you have not released the handbrake. Also check on the dashboard. There is the handbrake sign on the dashboard. There is a handbrake light on the dashboard. Just check that it's off. When you begin to drive, there is no light that should be on, especially the red light that should be uh, showing on your dashboard. So if your handbrake light is showing and you're trying to drive, Remember that you've not released your handbrake. So I hope with these uh, few tips, which may seem uh, simple but very important, you will learn something that 
will prevent you from getting into such a scenario. And uh, so with that, I hope those five tips will be very helpful in your journey as you become an expert and safe driver on our roads. Thank you very much and continue watching this channel. <laughs>